my prints. Um, so this is um, my story about the abortion I just had done. Um, we are. I when I had the procedure done, I was 13 weeks pregnant. <clears throat> our um, our baby was um, diagnosed with trisomy 18, and sh we had on on an ultrasound. They told us they could see that there was um, some severe problems um, visible for them like the development of the brain wasn't like they were I think she said it was like a pocket where like with an open pocket um, where the brain is and the spine wasn't looking right wasn't looking correct I don't know what it and she had some problems with the heart and yeah, um, <clears throat> they they told they they never they never told us we should abort the pregnancy. They never told us we should not abort the pregnancy. They were pretty much just um, giving us all the facts they had. Um, she said. She, um, I, we were talking to a doctor and a genetic counselor, and she told us, in case we want to have an abortion, she could give us um, the number of an abortion clinic, or she's gonna get in contact with them, and they're gonna um, make an appointment with us, and um, that's what we did. Um, we did not have to come in and take an ultrasound there because we had one taken at the high risk pregnancy clinic so um we only ha had to go there once um yeah it was like an hour and a half away from where we lived and we we drove there there were no kids allowed so we had to leave our son at home um we uh, got there and it was it was kind of weird it was like an a really old building and it like you know had these high ceilings and uh i don't know everything it didn't look like a clinic to me it was more like an like a museum or something it was it was a little weird but we got in there we had to fill out some things um, I I didn't even remember what it was like. It was just like we had to sign something. Um, my husband was reading through it. I I don't even remember what it said. And um, I remember I was pretty freaked out because um, it was a really hard decision because we really wanted to have another child and we really wanted a girl as well. But we were really, let's say like that, I was sure I wanted to abort the pregnancy because I was, I could not bear the thought of her being born and then being in pain and not living for her. Like, you know, like just being in pain for the time she is going to be alive. And I was just, I don't know, like I was... I felt like, I don't know, I felt like, you know, us making the decision right now is taking the responsibility of saying, you know, that we're gonna, we're gonna take the pain for her, you know, like we uh, were, I don't know, it's so hard to explain, like, it's really, it was really not easy for us to decide that she is gonna die that way, but we both felt like this was the right decision for us, and I wish it would have not been that way, 
or I wish I wish she would at least, you know, like if she would have had Down syndrome and she would have just like had a a condition she could live with, you know, and she would be handicapped and we would have to like help her with something. Then there would have been like so much easier for us to say, okay, we no problem, we can do this. But it's just like, you know, the, the, from what I read, from what we found out, it's just like, it was just so like the chances of her just living longer than a couple hours after she was born were, were really slim and yeah. Either way, I remember we drove there and Jeff was asking me, are you sure we're doing the right thing? And I was like, yeah, I'm sure. And I really was. I was, I, I knew it was the right thing to do. I still do know that it was the right thing to do, but it doesn't change the fact that it was really hard to decide this. Um, I also asked him, are you sure that it is, right? it is what you want? And he said kind of the same thing to me. Um, so we went into the clinic and it was, it was really weird. There were like, there was this one woman and she was crying and I don't know, like, you know, it was like six women there. Some had their girlfriends with them. Some were alone, some one came with her husband and um, like sh from what I hear some were just there to get uh, the abortion pill and yeah they were all waiting in this room and she said like they wait for the doctor to come in and then we would all go into the other building and this is where the procedure would happen. So. We were waiting for a really long time, I remember that, and I was relatively calm and um, every time when I was getting like anxious or when I was getting anxiety, I, I reminded myself like this is, this is gonna be hard right now, but it will be, it will be way worse if I don't, if I let her be in pain or I don't know it was just like I was getting I was calming myself down by thinking this is the right thing for her to do and she's not gonna feel any pain right now and she will she knows she's loved and we love her really mu very much and we still do and it's not gonna change the fact that she's our little girl and then they made me come into the back and there was a changing room and I had to change into a hospital gown. And then I was sitting in that in the dressing room and they let she told me when I'm done I should leave the door open. And then for some reason I had to wait very long and I was getting I was getting really nauseous I, w I was really feeling really bad in there like as soon as i because jeff was staying in the in the waiting room and um as soon as i was without jeff i was um you know i got this feeling okay it's getting real now it's gonna happen and yeah that was like really the worst of the whole thing and then they finally um called me and where did we go i don't know. like they were get me in this room and she told me to lay down on this bench and yeah there were these two nurses and they were really nice both of them were like all of them everybody that worked there were they were really nice they asked all uh, they answered all the questions I had uh, they were very how do I say that like you know not nobody ever talked about the baby unless I brought it up or they they were they were really good annoying when I wanted to talk and when I didn't want to talk and in distracting me and um, I wanted an IV um, pain medicine and I think it was like something to calm your nerves into that you don't feel much pain and um, yeah, as soon as the doctor came in, they gave he um, gave me the IV, and 
he he was actually talking to Jeff in the waiting room. That's what he told me afterwards, like before he came into me. And he was like, yeah, the, the best thing is to like to talk about this and, uh, you know, to get through this. And yeah, I thought that was really nice. So, but he came in and he gave me IV. And really after that, I, I kind of like waited to see what it would do to me, like how it would like, you know, change my, my consciousness and my, the way I perceive things. And it was really very relaxing and I was scared that I would hear the procedure or I would see something and I did not, I didn't hear anything, like I didn't hear any like sucking or anything like that. I did not feel anything. Or at least I don't remember feeling anything. Like I, I, I think I felt something, but I tried to remember after it was done, and I could not remember how it felt. So yeah, that was it. It was really, I don't know. Like as soon as it was done, it was very quick too. Like it probably didn't even take five minutes. And yeah, they were really like they let me lay there, and then they made me get up. They gave me a pad. Um, I was not bleeding a lot. <clears throat> Maybe like a week period. And then they had me sit in this chair. No, they, they put me in a, into a, onto another bench first. And they told me I had to wait like 45 minutes before I could leave. So first they had me lay down on another bench. And I was very relaxed. And I was very just release that it was over and I didn't have to like you know feel like she like knowing she was still in, in in my stomach and like knowing that we not gonna have her she's not gonna get older that was really like one of the hardest feelings and then and, you know like after she was gone it was just like a release because I knew I could now like be sad about her leaving and it was just <laughs> Like, you know, I can mourn about her being gone. And, uh, yeah, then it was like, after a while, they had me um, go sit in a chair. And they let Jeff in a little bit after that, because there was no other women in there. And he was really worried about me. He was, um... Yeah, holding my hand and everything, and I told him that it wasn't it wasn't bad and it didn't hurt. And then they made me drink something and eat something, and um, I remember after a little bit sitting there. After a little bit, I got like really lightheaded, and I had to put my feet up, and I, that happens sometimes, sometimes to me when I get up too too quickly and stuff like that so yeah I was getting like really low blood pressure and um yeah but that went away really relatively quickly too yeah and then um they had me get like I had to get back uh, into uh, to the bathroom and had to dress myself she told me to leave the pad there so she can see how much I was bleeding um, they gave me another one, um, they told me what to do, like for the, how to take care um, for myself afterwards, and, um, it was pretty much just, like she told me to take my temperature twice a day, in case I was getting a fever, that would be one of the first signs for an infe infection, um, they gave me some antibiotics, uh, and some pain medicine, some Tylenol 3 or something, I don't know. They were pretty good, but I, I, wasn't, I only took one right after the procedure just to make sure, but I, I think I didn't even need it. It was really like I had almost no cramps, almost no bleeding. After we drove home, um, I was using the bathroom and then there was like a big gush of blood while I was peeing and yeah after that was it like it was just like the next two days it was just like old blood just spotting 
and on the third day there was like a little bit more blood but not still like really really little yeah and she told me in three weeks i should come back or should go somewhere and have another ultrasound taken to make sure everything is gone and out and yeah she said like i can go ahead and like the day after i can go take um do my normal routine and yeah i asked her if um you know if if a lot of women are really sad afterwards or if they're gonna like you know yeah, if how they feel, how you feel, how I'm gonna feel afterwards. Um, she said it could be like normal. It could be two weeks after to be sad, cause your hormones are kind of weaning off. And she said after two weeks, if I'm still like feeling really sad, then I should go and see somebody. Um, also like nausea. Or tiredness, like the symptoms I have from pregnancy, should go away after three days. And I really felt like um, those symptoms, like after the first day, I already felt less tired, less nauseous. Yeah. Yeah. That was it. We drove back home. Slept very good that night. Just was so exhausted also relieved in one way all right well that was it thank you for listening have a good day bye bye